What's up, pals? My name is Jason, and today we're going to open up the new Paradox Clash Tins. Let's get into it. Going, everybody hope you guys are having a great day today if not i hope this video could cheer you up just a little bit today we are opening up the paradox clash tins now this is a tin set that came out with twilight masquerade came out but we've been opening up all the products for twilight masquerade so far we did the booster box the elite trainer box the booster bundles and we did the three pack blisters we haven't done the building battles but i haven't seen them yet when they come out and the my tcg card shop is selling them uh, from the displays for like $20 or $15 each. And that's when I will buy them. So we're gonna get into this. This has been out for a while. I am curious to see what's in here. I haven't seen anybody open these up yet. Um, so yeah, I wanna see what packs are in here. So before we get into it, if you are new, go ahead and hit that subscribe button to catch more Pokemon openings on the channel. Hit the like button if you enjoyed this video. Hit the dislike button if you don't. Let me know down below what you think. Do you just buy like, cards or uh product from the set that's out so like are you strictly just for the set if you're bu buying twilight masquerade do you just buy twilight masquerade stuff or do you get collection boxes or tins like this so let me know down below how you feel about these so without further ado let's get into these tins we have iron leaves walking wake and you get five booster packs in here i forgot that they up up the packs on these which is nice so I think they kept the prices the same still somewhat for some of these, but it's nice to get an extra booster pack or booster pack. It used to be four per tin. I did like it better when they had the smaller tins. So these are a bit more bulkier. Ah, all right, so we have the walking wake. Nice, we got Twilight Masquerade, really nice to get packs from the set that just released. All right, so we got the walking wake one here. We'll put you there. And then let's get into this one. The iron leaves. Ooh. All right, grab this, put that there, take these out, throw that in there, put that there, and Come on, close. There we go. All right, boom, we'll put those there. So yes, we have iron leaves, pretty nice there. And I think it's the standard of what the iron leaves from uh, Twilight, Twilight Masquerade, right? No, from uh, Temporal Forces is. So we got that, the EX. Here is the code for the tin. And let's see what packs we got. We get two Twilight Masquerades, nice. Temporal Forces, great. And two Obsidian Flames. Uh, can we get some Paldea Evolve, please? Obsidian Flames is nice to get the Charizard. We don't get Scarlet and Violet, which is cool. Temporal Forces, great. Twilight Masquerade, nice. So we'll see how Twilight Masquerade pairs, pans out later on. Obsidian Flames, I mean, still cool, but for me personally, I already have the Master Set put together, so I don't need any more. And then, we have Walking Wake, same EX. I think it's the same one. I don't have. Do I have the cards? I do. I do have the card. So Walking Wake. This is from Temporal Forces, Azure Seas, and Catharsis Roar. Yeah, same thing. All right, so pretty cool. Just a different artwork. And I'm guessing the packs are going to be the same. But let's go ahead and give you the code. So put the pack, the promo down there. And we have Twilight Masquerade, Temporal Forces, and Obsidian Flames. So let's do it like this. We'll start with Obsidian Flames. We have Temporal Forces in the middle, and then we'll end with Twilight Masquerade. All right, Obsidian Flames. Of course, the biggest card in this set is the Charizard. Um, in terms of, I think that, is Tyranitar in here? Tyranitar is cool, full art. I don't think there's anything really, Pupitar. In terms of the I name mean, Pidgeot, is pretty nice, special illustration rare. Nine Tails is cool. Clefairy at one point was like the biggest like illustration rare to get. And it's Beak of the Devil or Clef Clefa. 
Wow, all right, I was not expecting that. We get a Cleffa illustration rare. This one was actually the most expensive uh, illustration rare in the set before, I believe. Either that or Ninetales. But really nice card there. Look at that, Cleffa. And, all right, we have Scoven Lane to end it off on. Put you there, Lightning, or Steel Energy and Code. All right, let's get into the next one. So honestly, not a bad start. Maybe they, they up the, the watch call, the hit rate for this, since Obsidian Flames isn't that great. But Larvesta, Magnemite, Boon Sweet, Flotso, ooh, went right through, Umbreon, Lapras, Pokemon League Headquarters, Among Us, and, oh, 211 of 197. If this is Dark, Lightning, Trantar. We have a Tyranitar EX. All right, two up, two down. We got two hits. Sweet. That's a nice one there. And a hey, Steel Energy. Okay. Code. Pretty nice. All right, Obsidian Flames bringing some nice hits. Let's see what we get in here now. We have Cubju, Jobur, Snubble, Capsicid, Masquerain. Gumshoes, Pupitar, Lichonk, all right, Togedemaru, and Palafin Hollow. Okay, maybe we did get two hits, so don't expect anything from those. All right, last Obsidian Flames pack. I mean, if we get a Charizard, that would be insane. But let's see, Dratini, Charmander, Audino, Litwick, Kamarup, Clodsire, Grand Bull, Electric, and no illustration rare, no special illustration rare. Ending it with the Palvin. I pull so many of you. All right, code. And let's get into now the juicy ones. Temporal Forces. We'll love to get the Iron Crown. That's the biggest one in this set. Also very playable too. Even a regular EA or double rare would be sweet. Elgem, Sizzlepeed, Meryl, Golet, Keldeo, Delmise, Lectivire, Victini Reverse. Okay, nice. I'll take that. And we got a gold card. It's a Pokemon. Okay. I think I got, what was it? Gouging Fire? Can I get a different one? Nice. Raging Bolt. I'll take that. Wow, this has been a great 10. A great 10. All right, I put you there. Raging Bolt. All right, nothing behind that. Iron Valiant. But Raging Bolt, Kalefa for this 10. Awesome. Awesome. Code. Boom. Boom. Okay, Temporal Forces, this one. Can we get the same thing we got with that Obsidian Flames? All right, so we got the Illustration Rare Spot. Now we can we get a Full Art from here? Maybe? We have a Hoot Hoot, Hoot Hoot, Beldum, Heatmore, Roly Coley, Heavy Baton, Iron Valiant, Sandy Shocks. We have a Licky Licky with ah, Macargo and a Dudden Spars. So nothing crazy in that one. All right. We do get a Psychic Energy and we get a Code. All right. Ending it with Twilight Masquerade. Looking for that Greninja EX. Carmine, I believe, is a good one too. But that Greninja. Growlithe will be great. The Infernape will be awesome. There's a lot of good cards in this one. I like this set a lot. All right, let me actually do this. Whirlipede. Crawdon. Farfetch. Torkoal. Iron Bundle. Festival Grounds. Forges. We get an Ace card. Be unfair, Stamp, because that is the best card you could get from Aces. 163, 167. It's, it's close to it. Master Ball. Secret Box. We have a secret box. All right. I think I mean, good, good card. It's an Ace Trainer card, so pretty nice. We have a Chimchar. And a Chandelure. All right. And an Energy. Code. Pretty sweet. 
can't complain, honestly. Really, really can't. All right, pack one from the Iron Leagues. All right, let's see what we get in here. Seeking, Sunkern, Abra, Snowrunt, Festival Grounds, Glimora, Hollywrath, Luxio. Ah, dang it. We got a Fion and a Okie Doki. Just kind of hoping that was going to be a illustration rare, but it's not. It's fine. All right, final pack from Walking Wake. What do we have in here, buddy? Goldeen, Sandy Gas, Dreeby, Thebas, Lucian, Darmanitan, Carmine. We have a Farfetch and. Ooh, no illustration rare. But we have a reverse of Lucian RK. Nine, Arcanine, not Arcanine, Arcanine. It's Arcanine. It's an Arcanine. Nice. Hey, and a double rare. It's okay. It's not Palafin because it's a Terra. So let's see. Ogre Pond. Let's go. I'll take that. So that's definitely a hit here. We'll put you right there, Arcanine, and then we will put the Ogre Pond right there. Or Ogre Pond. How you how you pronounce it? Hello, Ogre Pond, because it's not Ogre, like the Ogre Mask trainer card. But alright, sweet. Let's get into the next pack. Last pack. That, twi that twin, that tin was insanely good. Illustration Rare Cleffa, Raging Bolt Gold card, Ogre Pond Double Rare, and an Ace trainer card. Along with an Harkonite as well. Alright, Venipede, Aaron. We have a Sandshrew, Chansey, Ariados, Uncompanying Flute, Slurpuff, Heracross Reverse, and let's see, come on, Illustration Rare? Nope, we get a Poliwag, Double Rare? Nope, we get a Monkey Dory, uh, Lightning Energy, nope, it is water, okay, <laughs> just nope on everything, there you go, code, but that's gonna do it. Honestly, great opening. Only one hit from the left side, but the right side definitely made up for it. And out of eight packs, that is insane. That is like what you could expect from maybe like half of a booster box. You get a full art, two a double rare, an ace card, an illustration, and pretty much another illustration rare slot one. Five hits from eight packs. No, ten packs. That's good. That's good. That's a hit per two packs. But that's gonna do it for me. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit the like button and subscribe to catch more. And until next time, I promise, have yourselves a great day. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!